hello everyone welcome to second video of this tutorial so as we have created this file so i want to get close this one so i'm going to, i can close this one as we were using in browser as you have clicked on youtube then close this one and it gets away so i'm going to not clicking on it but i'm going to go on file and then i'm going to click on close so the what happened was file was closed but the photoshop is not closed photoshop will be closed if i click on it or file and exit it over here and third one is control q on your keyboard you can see control and then you can click on q so that's how you can close anything so i'm going to click on files and then create a new one so as you can see whenever you open any document you will get the options of you can go on and name that file and you can document type this might be very confusing for you right now but you will get used to it as you keep on working on it so these are the files you have with and height that's you have to get concerned about and resolution and then we have bitmap and everything keep it as it is don't change anything just as I clicked on it and created a new file this is a simple thing what we need to do is just keep the name changing and we can go and keep the background as white background color transparent or others so I'm going to do as it is default right now so I'm going to hit ok and this is the files which was created so next thing what we need to do is so I close this one as you can see this are the tabs which is showing that save icon is disabled and other icons are disabled so file close and if you see what was close option is also disabled so if you're working and you see this kind of file just think that we have done something which is not appropriate that's the reason it is getting disabled if thing is there it will give you the option as created new file hit ok now this option is enabled so we can work on it so as we have created this blank space now i want to go and teach you about these are the tools like if we are doing if any engineer coming to your car and doing some work for that he have to need a tools for that so he will take out the screwdriver or something which he need to do to make the car open and keep on working so it becomes much more better same way in photoshop if you are doing something you need tool for that and from tools you can go and work on it so as you can see i have this kind of a error option like if you play a lot of games you get this option like you can shoot on it by clicking on it but this is not a game this is photoshop so it is showing me that i've selected this icon that is called as selection tools as i keep it over there so it is telling me that this is marcular marching one second just keep on it and hold it is telling me rectangular marquee tool so we can also say that marching and mostly most of the people say this is marching and and or so on so you can select rectangle then circle then single row and so on so you can click on it and drag it so you can see it is showing me like ants are going on and it's like marching ants so after that marching and we will go and select the tools over here this is known as move tool so if i select any tools these are the options which will change by which option we have selected over here so tools will be giving the option to them that what tool i am using so according to tools this menu will change over here on the top so as i have selected this option so i am getting the option which will be useful this marching tool and as you can see clicking on right click we get the option of different option like if i click on it if i click on it click on it click on it so i am getting option on every of the tools so that's better so as you can see i clicked on it this menu bar changes i clicked on it this menu bar changes i clicked on it this menu bar changes so if you are using a particular tool according to that tool this menu bar is going to change after marching and we have the move tool and you see the marching this 
menu bar has changed according to tools I selected on top of here. So first we are going to learn about as uh, we have used in like in starting we used to do a paint option in most of those photoshop when i was small i used to do paint option and used to draw random stuff but if it is photoshop you are going to get more professional with photoshop so as you know that whatever hollywood movie you are watching or whatever your poster you are watching it is mostly used in photoshop and they have created it over here so that's all for this video and see you in the next one. My name is Nazir and I'm signing out.